guess I'm here with a either safe deposit box, probably a safe deposit box lock or some kind of bank lock given to me by Bosnian Bill. Um, show you the keys. This is made by Eagle, or at least the keys are. Um, there they are. Pretty standard looking safe deposit keys. You can see Eagle Lock Company and the serial number written there. Lock itself doesn't have any markings on the face. It does have the same serial number on the back. So, um, probably we'll try to pick this, but I'd like to see what's going on inside first. Add this to my series of uh, bank lock informational videos. So, let's see if we can't get this. Um, got it a little bit here, so. So there's the cover plate coming off. You can see that it's made of two pieces of metal brass here. Um, I assume steel or aluminum or something. It feels like steel. And that's uh, press fit in there. Now we see the lock. Here's the bolt. Here's the keyway, which also serves as the uh, actuator for the bolt. So this tells me now immediately that if I want to tension this guy, I just have to tension this part. Some of them there's a bit of the key that does the tensioning. So this should just lift out. There we go. And there's a little ring on it. You can see that. I don't know. It does pop off, but so that acts kind of like a little bearing or spacer down in that bottom part. It's nice because that ends up flush so you can put it back together more easily. So let's lift the bolt out. See that the bolt is just a bar of, it's like brass with, there's the um, stump right there. Pretty narrow. Um, doesn't seem to have any little teeth in it, which is sometimes something you see. Then there's this little spacer here, and depending on how the lock is mounted, that may act as like a bearing surface for it, because otherwise you just have these sharp edges here that it would ride on. So let's lift that out, set that aside, and then we have our, we have our uh, levers. Now, let's turn this this way. So, First thing we see is that these are not the typical levers that we see in a lever lock. These are um, horizontal or sliding levers as opposed to ones that rotate on a pivot. So they move like this, up and down, and there as the key presses on them. And of course you have to get all of the gates aligned such that the stump can slide through one way or the other. Um, the design is also such that um, you need the key to lock it and unlock it. You can tell that because the stump will obviously get caught over here. Um, it may be a design feature such that you can, I bet you can install this with the bolt here or the bolt here. So depending on how this mounts on the, the uh, bank door, or box door, or whatever it happens to be, um, probably lets it be reversible. They probably got a patent on that. The other thing that tells me that that might be the case is that you can see a notch here and here and here and here. These are your false gates. They normally don't pick, put false gates on the um, unlocked side. So when it's unlocked, you don't really care about someone picking it back into locked, right? So, let's just take a look at these levers, see if there's anything exciting going on here. That looks pretty good. Okay, so lever one. These are nice because they, uh, they don't bind up on the pivot. 
also see these are reasonably thick, which is nice, solid brass. Looks like it has brass uh, springs as well. There's uh, three, four, and number five. And that's all the parts in there. And then the little box. All right. Now let's look at the back of one of these guys. I'm just curious. So it does not appear that there's any kind of relief cut on them. Sometimes you'll see a, a, bevel, a little relief cut kind of like this on the that's on the bolt. And I think that's to uh, either reduce friction or make it harder to decode by uh, looking at it. So we're back with the lock reassembled and all the levers in their correct places. When we turn the key, what we're looking for is for these gates in here to all line up so that the stump on the bolt, which is this little bit here, that that can pass through. So what I'm going to try to do is do this without blocking your view too much. And the trick is that I don't have anything to keep everybody aligned, so let's get this key out of the way. Let's see if I can get this to work. And there we go. So you can see in this position, zoom in this position, oops, the levers are all aligned. There's a nice slot right through there, and so the bolt would be able to pass. So another thing I noticed about this thing is that if you remember there was this little bearing plate and when we got the lock it was in this position here but this definitely is a um, is there to uh, prevent the bolt from binding on these little sharp metal edges of the of the lock body so we put that in like that because of course the key is going to be pressing up on this so it wants to be able to slide on that surface as the key goes One through. other note that I thought was interesting about this particular lock all the other locks we've seen have some kind of little window on them um, presumably to aid in either um, bypassing the lock or um, you know, picking the lock or, or combinating it. In this case the bolt is in front of the levers, so having a hole here wouldn't really do much for you. You would just see the little actuator moving the, hitting into the bolt, and having a hole in the back would be no good at all because this thing is mounted to the door of a safe or a vault or something like that. So it does not have any of, any of that feature. Um, and then the other little sort of interesting thing is that the bottom of that actuator it's actually visible down here. I don't know why necessarily they did that, but as you turn the key, if I can get this in here and stay in frame. As you turn the key, that actuator moves that way and then comes around. Now this may be a key, maybe for key retention, maybe there's a little pin that goes in here and keeps you from rotating this all the way back around so that you could take the key out and that would allow you to just make it one sided or the other so it goes back and forth but I thought that was kind of kind of neat, I haven't seen that feature before either so one last look at it with the key in there, turn and comes out and again, there, there may be some key retention, additional key retention gizmo when this thing is mounted. But that's all we have for now. So anyhow, um, an Eagle, or what I assume is an Eagle, because the key says Eagle, um, lock company, uh, made the USA, um, either safe deposit or bank or... Uh, other high security type application lock gutted and we learned a few things about it. Anyhow, this is Alex. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And as always, have fun and please keep it legal. Cheers.